Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Rosamond, California. And today we're going to do a video review of a Japanese whiskey. This is from Mars Shinju Distillery. And it's Kisoyama. Now here's the thing, I can't find this except at the local BevMo. I even went to the Tokiwa Imports website and it doesn't have anything. It has the EY Tradition, that's the newer blend and it comes highly rated. But this I can't even find. So unless you go to Bebmo or some other distiller or sorry, some other liquor store, I don't know where to find this thing. And that's what makes this intriguing. You can see the bottle right here, Kiso Yama, which translates to Mount Mount Kiso. It is blended in the highest distillery in Japan. And it's at 800 meters. And I wish I can translate that up about 2,500 feet. Not too tall, but it's in the Japanese Alps. And it's around the region in, of Nagano, which was the 1998 Winter Olympics. Now, I'm pretty sure of that. Don't quote me. But I want to show you. This is indeed from Mars Distillery. Look, You can look at the bottle cap. Mars Shinju Distillery, Japan. I, I do like the crest. The crest is kind of neat. Now, not an old distillery. Japanese distilleries aren't that old. I think it's on the website itself. It says it was founded back in 1949 and then was moved back to, Na or to, to Nagano in 84. Uh, you can read that, tokiwaimports.com, by all means. I really don't have much information because, well, all I have is the BevMo website. And this is a pretty decent Japanese whiskey. I wish you could hear more for it. It retails for 80 bucks. It's a little pricey, but I got, them, I got it cheap. You know, buy one, get one five cent. So, <laughs> hey, more power to me. Uh, but according to BevMo, it says unusually soft mountain water. It is in the Japanese uh, Alps. And a range of malts and barrels give this blended whiskey delicate notes of vanilla, cinnamon spice, and a perfect woodiness for both new and experienced whiskey drinkers. All right, that's pretty, I don't know. I really can't tell about that. But one thing I really do tell is the flower blossoms. You can tell that. I, I think it's a Sakura, you know, the cherry blossoms. Uh, if you want to take a look at the bottle, you can go to their website right there. You know, Tokiwa. All right, Kisoyama. You know, it is 40% alcohol. So it's not 700, uh, 700 or 70 CL or whatever. But as you can see, uh, that's the website. It is bottled in Nagano. Tokiwa Imports. There it is. You can see the Mars on the top here. So Mars Shinshu. That is the distillery if you want to check it out. Uh, let's take a drink. Like I mentioned before, it does say mention of cinnamon spice. I don't taste that. Uh, pears, uh, vanilla. I, I can't taste that. A nice little clean color. A little lighter than most. Uh, but I like it. If you like floral notes, because I can taste it. And it's not bad. Now, I drink everything neat, so that means I have to have some good, I like something with good palate. It's good and tasty in the palate. So, mm, mm, it, oh, wow, the notes definitely come out, and the aftertaste is really pungent. Like I said, I can't taste that cinnamon spice. Uh, the one review it says here, it does mention the flower blossoms, hints of smoke and pepper, medium finish. It, it is a medium finish. There's no doubt about that. You take that drink and it definitely powers through. Not bad. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I was thinking between that or 8. But man, is it pricey. <laughs> it is pricey. Uh, you know, if you can find a bottle for 40 bucks or do what I do, buy two bottles for 80 it's totally worth it. But I wouldn't buy it for 80 Alright. That's all I got, YouTubers. And I'll catch you all next time.